Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Amanda's Crafty Corner. I am Amanda, and this is my Crafty Corner. Well, as you all know, we, um, me and my friend Chan, the Canadian Diamond Dot Witch, we are doing an event for June, which is called Your Favorite Animal uh, 2024. Because, you know, why not? We like animals. And yeah, so I decided to record this since I haven't really been going live for this whole event and I've only really done this one section, which is totally fine. I will catch up, even though this is a 60 by 40. But anyways, how is everyone doing? I hope everybody had a wonderful Tuesday. You're having a wonderful Wednesday, depending on where you are in the world. Oh boy. Oh boy. This has been an interesting day, let me tell you. Um... Let me first grab a color, and we're going to just start with number one, because why not? Um, and I'll get to talking soon, so welcome to my whip and chat for Your Fave Animal 2024. Like I said, I'm doing it with the Canadian Dot Witch, so I will tag her in this video um, in the description box below. If you haven't followed her, please go give her a like, give her a follow. She has been pretty good about, you know, being live every single day since this has started. I will be going live with her on Saturday. Uh, sorry, not Saturday, on Sunday. Derp a derp. Because, you know, I don't get on until like I'll do lives on Friday, but I don't get live into with her until Sunday. Wow, words are hard today, apparently. Um, so yeah, uh, with that said, grab a drink, grab your, um, diamond painting, your cross stitch, whatever you would like while we have fun doing this, my favorite animal, which is owls. I also have a fox, but, um, I figured this 60 by 40 is more than enough. I still haven't finished my dragon wagon, which is... I will definitely do that once this event is over because I'm going to be working on this off of camera as well. Uh, a lot of the times what I'll end up doing is while I'm role playing with my friends on Elder Scrolls Online or um, if I have time before my son comes home, I will work on it. And yeah. Let's do a little catchy catch up time. So for those who know, I did go to the doctors on Friday because I was like, this is enough. I've had enough. I can't keep living the way that I'm living with the, my the, my foot being the way that it is. So I'm just going to move my camera and I'm like, try and zoom it in a little more. I know it's at an awkward angle. Hold on. I'm just going to, I'm going to move things around just so that it's easier for the lot of you to see. Because you're able to see it better than I am. So I'll, I'll get back to the whole doctor thing in a minute. So the way that they design this is that it is lengthways that you get to see the image. They just made it horizontal so that the symbols are facing me. I don't know why they did it. It's very interesting, but I guess it's because so many people work on their diamond paintings like this. So it just makes it easier um, for people to do things. I'm just going to kind of move this. You know what? Hold on. I'm just going to fold it so I know where I'm going to finish it. So, yeah, just so that you all understand what I'm doing. Um, I went on it. Yeah. Anyways. So yes, I went to the doctor on Friday. It was the walk-in clinic because my family doctor is actually away on vacation. I said, I don't care. I just want to see somebody. It was probably a little bit rude of me, but at this point I've had enough. I'm still waiting on the specialist to call. All I know is that he's accepted my case. Great. Great. Great to know. So yes, he's accepted my case. Um, so the waiting period apparently is 
eight months to a year. Well, I'm already into month one, going into month two. Because we sent it out in April. Okay? okay. Some tweezers. So, with that said, um called the, the doctor for the walk-in clinic and he was asking me, okay, so what's going on? I go, I can't work. I I have to call off sick because I can't move out of my bed. I'm elevating my foot. I'm doing what I can. Okay, I'm not doing the hot compresses, but I'm doing what I can. What else can I do? And he kind of looked at me like I had two heads. And I was like, no, it hurts. So he was trying to figure out from my MRI because he has you know access to my file because that's my family doctor to figure out okay so where's the tear where is this where is that so he pointed at my ankle and like pushed down on it and I'm like it doesn't you can do whatever you want to my foot it doesn't hurt I don't feel any tingling none of that it just for some reason it really really hurts so then I told him I'm also diabetic so I know my feet and anything is going to hurt more than it would a person that's not diabetic. And it, it is what it is. So he's like, okay, well, I, instead of cold compresses, do warm compresses. I'm like, okay. He goes, go get Voltaren gel. It's a muscle relaxant. I'm like, it doesn't work for me. He goes, what do you mean? I go, I put it on, last 10 minutes, and then I'm in pain again. I just don't do well with pain medication. And I keep telling the doctors this and they keep ignoring me. But I digress. Um, so from there, he's like, okay, I'm gonna give you pain medication. And again, I'm like, mm, pain meds don't work for me. It's gonna wear off within a little bit. He's like, no, 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 I'm still gonna give you the pain medication. I'm just like, fine, whatever. I'll take your pain medication. Yeah, that pain medication that he gave me, which is supposed to be really, really good for pain, lasts a half hour. I took it. I took it right before I started recording. It is now 10.23. I took it at 9.40 after my son fell asleep, and it has already worn off. My foot is in a lot of pain. Hmm. So I get to explain this to him next week. That he made me spend money because my insurance did not cover it, on a pill that doesn't work for my body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I keep telling the doctor, stop giving me pain medication. It doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? It Your, your pain meds don't work on my body. No, but we're going to try. Okay, but I've been on morphine. I've had an epidural. I've done Tylenol. I've done ibuprofen. I've done all of your, your pain medication. It does not work for me. Stop. Please. Somebody listen to me. Your pain meds don't work. Was that a little dramatic? Probably, but that's what I was doing in my head, and I got tired, like I said, got tired of arguing, and I'm like, fine, whatever. And then he's like, you need to wear a tensor bandage until uh, you see the doctor, like the specialist. I'm like, that's fine, I'll do that. that, that's totally fine. But that still doesn't help the fact that, you know, what am I supposed to do when I wake up in the morning and my foot hurts and I can't go to work? Because it's not like I get paid for when I miss work. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, he had no idea what to tell me. And I'm just like, yep, of course you don't. Of course you don't. And then he had the gall to tell me that they may not even do surgery. There may not be anything that they can do. And I just looked at him like, I cannot live with this pain. This is not fair to not only me, but it is not fair to my son who likes to go on long excursions, likes to go for walks, likes to go to the park, and wants to play. But I'm just like, mm, I'm just going to talk to the specialist when I finally have that appointment. And we're all going to cross our fingers and hope that it is soon. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to blow a gasket. Because when I'm home with him, I really don't get the chance to just sit down and, you know, relax. Yeah, I try my best. And, you know, I try to get my 
dad to like take him out into the backyard or take him for a walk today little man was not having none of that he yelled he screamed he put up a fight with my dad outside that my neighbors were kind of embarrassed and I'm just like it's because he doesn't want my dad he wants me because he's not seeing me enough and what I mean is because of my work hours he's with my in-laws a lot and then my partner and I we, we I call it switching off days so he's with our son you know on Sundays I'm with him on Saturdays and then I'm with him all day on Tuesdays but like Wednesday Thursday Friday and Monday I get him when it's time to go to bed but it also allows me to you know do my recordings after work or do my lives especially on Fridays when I'm home early so and again it's not that I'm complaining that of any of this stuff it's just that you know it's a little bit different and as you know from a few of my other videos I don't really want my son around my dad but right now I don't have a choice don't have a choice because I need help so today we went to the park we played outside it was like all day again outside and then I'm like you know what let's go to bed like 20 minutes earlier than normal get the routine started because he was yawning up the storm you know when you're playing outside all day and you're in the sun doesn't matter if you have all the water in the world you're still just like I'm exhausted I want to go to sleep ah no not my son not my son he was so overtired that he was fighting sleep as you know I have two beds in his room and he could not for the life of him figure out did he want to lie down in the green bed or did he want to lie down in his bed so that was a big fight and I'm just like oh, okay um what do you want to do little man because mommy wants to sleep as well like I'm, I'm also exhausted at this point um and I knew he was, but he was just fighting it and screaming. And because he's so overtired and can't tell me that he's overtired, he's just screaming and crying. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Scream. I'm just going to cuddle you. Make you realize that's okay. You can scream. I'm right here. I am right here. I'm not going nowhere, no how. Sorry, I tried to organize these before I went live. Um... So yeah, he's, he's screaming up his lungs and I'm like, okay. Then he's like, okay, cuddles? No problem, let's have more cuddles. Go into the bed. Uh, I hunch over his bed because his is a floor bed. Hunch, go over the siding, give him a hug. And then it sounds like he's asleep. No, no. I go to open the door and he turns his head so fast. I'm like, nope, you are not asleep. Okay. No problem. And I go to lay down on the bed and he's like, cuddles, please. More cuddles? No problem. Let's have more cuddles. Finally, 10 minutes later, I hear him sleeping. I'm like, finally. And it is like 936. Or whatever time it is. I don't even know anymore. I honestly don't. I just kind of go with whatever happens because you can't force somebody to sleep so yeah that was my crazy night so then you know like I said took my meds and all of that lovely stuff Oh, I missed a whole bunch of these. Apparently, I'm just a little bit blind. Let's... I'm just a wee bit blind, but that's okay. Um, I worked a little bit more on the snake and rose. Although, to me, the snake looks like he's on a magnolia, not so much a rose, but he's covered in roses, and it's so pretty. So, I sent... Um, 
the image to my friend who is going to be getting it once I am completely done it. And I'm slowly working away on the fox still. Um, I haven't touched the dragon or anything because I'm trying to focus on those two. And then as everybody knows, on Wednesday nights, I focus on the silhouette. So I'm slowly... I just missed another V. I'm slowly getting through everything. Um, and then I forgot that I had the autumn scene and the amber light started. So in the, so I, um, I need more from my, uh, sticky jack. But, um, so at the end of the month, what I figure I will do for everybody is I'm going to do two videos. I'm going to do my work in progress with my cross stitch. And then I'm going to do the work in progress with my diamond paintings. Um, just so that everybody can kind of see where I'm at with everything. Especially because you don't get to see the Oraloa one because of how big it is and what I've done with it. Which is basically nothing. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to work on it on Thursday. Uh, that is my goal for Thursday is to work on it. And then... Um, we'll see what happens after that. That's all I can say. And then, yeah, so that's my plan. I will, at the end of the month, show you all my lips. There will be two different videos. So I hope everybody enjoys them. And if there's anything else you ever want to see on my channel, just let me know in the comments below. I did miss one. Just let me know in the comments below because I want to know your opinions. I really, really do. I want to know what you want to see on my channel, what I can do different. That's sort of kind of what some of the comments are for if you, if you do leave. And then I love hearing from everybody of what they like and don't like on my channel. Why wouldn't I? Sorry, I'm just trying to focus on putting this AB in. I kind of damaged my tweezers just a little bit. I don't know how focused they are, but I'll do my best to focus it. They're a little bit bent at the top. Like right here. So I'm just going to put these away because I do have these ones. So... Yeah, um, do I have any cues in here? I do, okay. Yes, I'm going in order, numbers one to seven. Or numbers, anyways, I'm just going in order. Makes it kind of easier. So yeah, that is my two tangents for the day. Um, ESO just dropped the newest expansion. So after I'm done this, I'm going to go work on that for a couple hours before I pass out. Because why not have a little quiet time? I call it quiet time, but I will be in probably voice chat with my friends. Which they don't mind. And I even... Sometimes um, I'll go in voice chat 
with my son and I'll get him to say hi to them and they find it so cute. And I'm like, yeah, now you get to hear my mom voice. I am so sorry if you hear background noise to them. And then they're like, I don't hear anything. I'm like, perfect. Although I do mute myself if my dad goes on his own tangents because nobody needs to hear that. Because uh, I ordered sushi today from a different place. And it's actually one that I used to frequent a lot. It's on the other side of my town. But they didn't give me any chopsticks. They didn't give any... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Napkins or any of that stuff. So my dad went off on uber eats i'm like it's not the driver's fault that they didn't put this stuff in the bag they literally go in grab the stuff and leave that's all they do so that is not on uber that's on the restaurant so that's what i was trying to ex explain to him and then he was going on a tangent about oh when i worked on sites if they didn't bring us the cutlery and whatnot and I'm like, yes, but again, that's the restaurant. And the restaurant had its own drivers. That's not. Anyways. So, yeah, he went on a tangent about that. And I'm like, I'm, I'm done listening. Because you don't want to listen to what I have to say. And again, if I missed any of the numbers in here, we all know I will go back and search. Because that's what I do. Right? Right. This is, I'm not going to lie, is full of ABs. I really like it. Do not get me wrong. I just kind of wished um, the way that they had done it was a little bit better. Because I honestly don't know what the ABs are. Because it doesn't tell me on my chart. It tells me on the bags. Whereas licensed work will have all of the ABs clumped together. So like from numbers, like my Oraloa one, I think it's numbers 52 to the last number are all my ABs. Whereas this one, they kind of spread it out, which is nice as well. But at the same time, no, it's not. I want to know what my ABs are. Just a food for thought. Um, but it is really pretty. And, you know, once it's done, you'll see all the shininess. And then uh, I'm just trying to think. I think on Thursday, <sighs> as I lose an A, B, I don't know where that one went, but it flew away. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do on Thursday besides playing ESO with my friend because we're going to do one of the expansions together. Because the nice thing about ESO is you can kind of pick and choose which area you want to quest in because the timeline is all the same, which kind of sucks because we were having this discussion last night in voice chat that, or not even, la yeah, last night and the night before, I believe, in voice chat um, about the timeline for everything. So in the game, everything is of the same timeline, which doesn't make any sense, but... You get it because they want everything. So they want you to be able to pick and choose where you want to quest. So there was just a whole tangent about that, which was really funny to me. Um, just trying to see if there's any more Ejo, sorry. And I don't see any more. No, I don't see any more. Um, so yeah, we were discussing that. Oh, I found the AB. It landed on a place that it should not have. So, yeah. 
But Thursday, like I said, I'm going to be questing with a friend probably from the time that I get back or whenever they wake up to when they have to go to work. So that'll be fun. And then I am going to be, depending on the time, I might go live or I'll just record a very nice long video for everybody. Talk about what happened at work or how my doctor's appointment went. Whatever you people want. Yeah, I'm going to you people. <laughs> Whatever my lovelies want. Because if I go live, I know people are working or um, getting ready for bed, depending on where people are in the world, which is fine. It happens. Like, I can't tie you to your PC or tie you to anywhere, really. Um, so, yeah. I know it doesn't look like we've done much, but we're, we're slowly getting there. I'm also picking colors where, you know... There's not a lot of it, but the next one should, because you know, when I was doing it before, I kept missing them. It's the letter S. Yeah, I'm going to the letter S. Because I don't see, yeah, no, there's, I may or may not finish this section by the time that, you know, we're done recording because I'm already at like 27 minutes right now. And I know people have said that they really like the longer videos because I listen to my lovely voice as I change it um, when they're working on stuff. So I hope you, you, you um, my goodness, words are hard. I hope, you know, everybody enjoys it listening to to the goings on in my, my crazy household. Oof. As I smack my camera. Okay, so we're just gonna do it. It's the way that I have it angled. I am so sorry. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Sorry, I'm fiddling around with something um but yeah I'm probably going to just take a quick drink because I've been talking so much Um, oh, I know what I can talk about. Okay, so, funny, funniness happened last night. So, um, you all know how I'm in a guild, uh, and I've, I've talked about my character and the relationship that she's in. So, um, the throuple kind of just died out because there was a lot of drama going on in one of the, in the guild that I was in. And we split off, which I think I explained in another video. So, because the two of us are no longer in the guild with Magris Scylla, as I call him, uh, we had decided to end that relationship and more drama ensued. Yeah, a lot of drama. But it's fun. Um, it's just that they didn't understand why I was like why the two of us were getting so frustrated over this whole thing and then um one of the characters that my my character we're gonna call it my oc which is original character um my oc felt super betrayed because she was becoming close to this one person teaching this person the way of healing and all of that and um we decided to do a role play and my OC thought 
you know, okay, we're going to talk about healing. Mm, nope, 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 nope. No, no, no. This person decided to tell my OC, yeah, by the way, I'm in love with your Megacilla. And my OC is just like, wait, what? We, we, it's not even been a week yet. Like, what? So she was, you know, she feels very, very betrayed. She doesn't want to see this person anymore. I'm totally friends with this person. I, I talk to them all the time. Like, what happens in character stays in character. We, we don't break that. Um, but, they're, like, it was more the other person that I was frustrated with than anything else. Um... So, yeah, and then yesterday, I think it was Sunday night, actually. So, one of my friends in the guild, who also watches my stuff, but mostly my lives, um, he created a new character that is more like an NPC, which is a non-playable character. He'll kind of pop up now and then, and we all kind of fiddle around with AI art. I'm not going to lie to you. We kind of all fiddle around with AI, because some of us just can't afford to pay an artist hundreds of do dollars to create our OCs. So, my friend, like, this person doesn't care if I say their name. Al was simping so hard over the character that I kind of messaged the person that created the OC. And I'm like, what if we... um make him my OC's Lord Consort. Just so that, you know, because Al's going to be simping over your character so hard, which means, you know, and if if nobody knows what a simp is, is basically they're going to fawn over the character and be like, oh my god, I wish, wish that person belonged to me. So I made the joke and I messaged them. And then last night we were in voice chat and it just kind of snowballed from there. Like, he is totally on board with it. But because of the new X-Pack, he's like, let me work out the details of this character. And then, you know, we'll, we'll RP. And I'm like, that's totally fine. You know, this was like a total joke, right? And he goes, yeah. But in my head, my OC is like, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. As long as I get to have a side piece as well. Because the whole point is... um, that his OC is going to be the front of being her Lord Consort. Because my character is a noble. And, you know, people who watch Bridgerton or any, like, Queen Charlotte or any of that stuff. They know that nobles usually have a side piece. But in Breton society, which is what my character is. The fact that she's with the Khajiit, which is um, a cat person. Uh, is a big, big no-no. And Al doesn't want to be the Lord Consort. Anyways, because he said it, he's going to suck at it. And I'm like, that's fine. That's okay. We'll figure it out. So we're going to wait like a month or two. And basically what's going to end up happening is that, yes, she's going to marry two characters. Um, but one is basically to get her pregnant because... His OC also wants to have children and have a legacy and blah, blah, blah. I said, so why don't we have it where they have two, but we're not going to parent trap this. And, you know, the parent trap where one parent takes one child, the other parent takes the other. No, 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 no. We're going to have all three of them live in the same house. Not only that, Al is going to bring his other OC in because she wants his character and his like they both want their characters to kind of get together if that ever ends up happening i'm missing so many s's um um and i lost where it was <laughs> and my train of thought I s I, okay hold on let me just find it there it is um Train of thought gone. Anyways, so uh, train of thought comes back. 
So we were making the joke that like the four of them, the four of them will live in the same house and then they'll have the kids together because um both of them are like my OC and his OC they're both magic users. So the plan is that they'll both teach the children magic. Then you have my little Bishu Taro, as I call him, is going to teach like survival skills and how to live out in the wild. So it's going to be like the three of them raising the children together. And then the plan is that they're going to adopt even more. So we kind of like just going on tangents over this and like snowballing and then like everything just kind of escalated. And it was it was a lot of fun. So we're like, is this actually happening? Are we going to... So we made a Discord with the three of us together now because we were also sending pictures. And um, the other OC, not Bijou Tarot, was sending me images of one of his other OCs. His wife is pregnant. And I'm like, oh, now I want pregnant pictures of my character. So that's, yeah, that that is everything that happened there. And I, I was kind of explaining what I was expecting with, like, the Lord Consort. And I'm like, just so you know, she will promise, you know, your OC her days as long as she can have her nights with her Bishu Tarot or, well, if we hear someone out. Um, but like I said, so he's like, as long as, you know, my OC can have a piece on the side. And I'm like, that's fine. But we don't even know what's going to happen. It could be that, you know, your character falls hopelessly in love with mine. And then, you know, he's like, yeah, however, you know, he doesn't swing in the male direction. I'm like, that's fine. That's totally fine. And then we were just having a lot of laughs. Like, his OC is going to be playful with Bishu Taro, but then... My character's going to call for them. Hey, yo, you know, I'm in a lot of pain or your child is doing X, Y, Z in my stomach and I need help and I need you to calm it down and I don't know what to do and I'm freaking out. And yeah, so we, we just went on like, I think we were in the call for like two hours just going off about all of that. And it's a lot of fun. You know, it's like when authors create stories and you get to hear their train of thoughts and that's basically what we were doing and it's like the characters are in our heads and they'll either be like yeah 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 this sounds good this sounds good or they're like um excuse me that's not how my character behaves um what are you doing and you kind of like this is how authors think i don't know if anybody's ever tried to write a book but when you start writing a book and you have these characters in your head they take over. They legit take over. And they kind of like talk to you in a way. And they're like, yes, yes, yes. This is exactly what I would do. No, what are you doing? This isn't me at all. Like when even when I'm RPing, um, sometimes I will delete a reply that I have thought out. And I'm like, this is not how this person talks. Like, what am I doing? So that's just... Yeah, yeah. If you're an author, you know what I mean. If you've ever written a story or a book, you, you know what I mean. It, it's hard to explain. As my pen decides to roll everywhere. Okay, that's 11, 12. Probably didn't need this many, but that's okay. I missed a couple Ks, but that's okay. I'm going to get to it in a moment. I'm just looking for... I don't even know why I did this one, because it's very hard to see, but that's okay.
Oh, wow. I missed a few. And you know what it is? It's because the X's look like K's and they're kind of on the same background. So let me just see if I can get a few of them out. Yeah. So, yeah, that was that. Just want to make sure. I'll just get the two that are down here as well. Like I said, it was just a whole kit and caboodle last night. Lots of laughs, lots of fun. I am desperately hoping that I have enough of the color X, which is 561. I was in my art dot box and I noticed that the colors are like a shade or two off, but I might have, I should have this color um, from one of my other budget friendly companies and normally they kind of have the same shade. So I'm gonna take a look at that because I keep all of my diamonds because you just never know if you're going to run out. And I have. And it's very sad when you do, because then it means the companies are not really paying attention. But um, we will see what happens with this. And I know, and I'm talking more about the budget-friendly companies than I am Oraloa and DAC, because DAC and Oraloa, you can contact them and let them know, and they'll send you more. With the budget-friendly companies, it might be a little different, especially if you wait so long to open it up because it may be out of stock. Um, although their diamonds should not be, but it is what it is. Just taking a look. If I ever go quiet, it's just because I'm taking a look to see if I missed anything. Like I missed that one. He is which is right here. Don't see any J's. And yeah, sorry, I went very, very quiet there for a moment. Um, any more question marks? Did I miss an X? Yes, I did. I missed two. So let's get that one again. So yeah. If you haven't noticed, my RPs are a lot of times just kind of full of drama, but you kind of want that so that, you know, the story is interesting and um, you can keep going on it and, you know, you react to, to different things in different ways. 
like last night I did a nice RP with another friend. Um, I think it lasted like three hours. I don't even know anymore. Yeah, a role play is going to last forever. Um, but yeah, I think we did it for like three hours. I don't know. It was a lot of fun. That's all. That's all I know. Um, okay. 17, no, 18. No, 19, no. I do have a 21, however. I think it's only one. Yeah. Oh, I missed an each, too. Here we go. I'm going to go back and grab that H, which is right. I missed two H's, which is fine. Totally fine. Okay, H with number eight. I was like, I know they were by one another. Earth. Earth, earth, earth. Okay. That's done. Yes. Okay, so we're on to number 24. I will probably end this very, very shortly because we are at, um, like I said, I probably won't get the sections done on camera just because... Well, as you can tell, there's a lot of confetti, which I love. Don't get me wrong. I really do love it. But because it's a lot of confetti, it's a lot of single placing. And this section is a little bit bigger than what I had planned for because um, depending on where it folds, I can either do the, the last line or I can't. So it kind of all leads into one another. And basically, my plan for this one is I'm going to do the whole side. And then I will move the painting over. Maybe. I'm going to see how I feel about it. I could be doing what I did with the Dragon Wagon. Which is doing like half of the one side and then flipping it over to do the other half and then flipping it again just so that um, it makes it easier for me. I don't know. I, I will figure it out like I always do. Every time the painting I do is different. I change it up. You know. Because why not? I also just find it easier to push it up rather than towards me, which is why I'm doing the top left corner. So, yeah. But, you know, it is it is coming along. I'm not going to say that it's not when it definitely is. And the other diamond paintings will get done. It might take me a bit, but you know, that's just the way it is. But for now, I am going to end this stream here. Like I said, my apologies for not actually finishing the square, but I will get it done. Um, if not tonight, then on uh, either a stream or... No, we'll be doing a video either on stream or 
with a recording on Thursday, like I said. Um, I hope everybody has a good night. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and, um, you know, that whole kitten caboodle. I hope everybody has a wonderful night, a wonderful day, wherever you are in the world. Make sure that you love yourself, take care of yourself, and spoil yourself. Bye, my lovelies.